what can you tell us a bit about this new uh, dimension uh, uh, that we are going to play uh, this season in? This is a really fun one. It's a, it's a weird one because it does take place on Earth but clearly not the earth of the unsleeping city, right? Like this is, um, and we've had little animals before, like we had in Tiny Heist, and there have, of course, been animal characters all over the place, right? We've, you know, there have been animals, I think, in every single season and often like talking animals or whatever. For this season, it's a really weird alternate earth where it does take place in England. London is a real place. Texas is a real place. Germany is a real place. Like all these places are real. Um, but um, there are some places that don't exist in real life. Like, like this place takes place in an English village called Tufting Meadows. Um, and um, there are no human beings in this world. So all people are animals. So it's, it's very, um, there, which is actually kind of different from like Wind in the Willows or Peter Rabbit where there are like human beings around. But in this world, it's I think a lot more similar to like Redwall, like Brian Jax's Redwall series where animals are all beast folk. They all sort of speak, uh, you know, but uh, uh, in this world as well, there's like as many languages as there are in the real world. So like national borders are still the same thing. Um, and there are weird bits of alternate history mixed with real history. Because obviously, if you have nations, then you have to have some version of history. Nations are, are not, don't come out of a vacuum. They are produced by history. But also, there are differences in the history. Like, I think we're like four, like electrification in the industrial era is still happening. But also, one of the characters is a veteran of the Schnauzer War which is a uh, <laughs> uh, obviously not a real war. It's named after a type of dog, but you know, so it's one of those things where, um, and then also it's very, you know, like European, like early, like late 19th, early 20th century European and American history is filled with a lot of horrors, technological and military and other things like that. So this is one of those things where um, in order to serve the genre and the setting, uh, these animals are more participants in a world with that history uh, than like Frog and Toad or like Mr. Rat and Mr. Mole would be in like Wind in the Willows. Um, but yes, so it's a very, so the setting is very uh, weird in that way and that we've played in Earth before, but like the Unsleeping City is a very different version of Earth than uh, Mice and Murder, which is Earth, which has always been populated by these like animal people. 